so new project is uh, detection of cyber building on social media using machine learning. So I just uh, prepared this abstract. Uh, so the sim in simple uh, terminology, uh, like identification of cyber building statements, like uh, offensive uh, offensive statements uh, on the social on the social network while sharing the uh, post post or something. So this is basically uh, by using the machine learning, we so we supposed to predict the cyber bullying statements. Uh, the, uh, I take in the machine learning algorithms like SVM or random forest, uh, maybe can neural neural network algorithms. And uh, in the paper, they they have uh, used a single data set, uh, single data set of uh, Twitter one. But uh, in to enhance this project, I I, I took a two data set. Uh, those are harass. Uh, those are supposed to uh, categorize categorize the Buddhist uh, Buddhist statement like uh, is it the sexual content or is it uh, racist content or something. Uh, so let me show the two data sets. Uh, So these are the two data sets. Uh, so D1 data set the CSU dot uh, CSU file and the D2 uh, D2 data set. Uh, so total two data sets. So D1 data set, if you see uh, D1 data set consists of a three and data scale labeled with uh, two classes like non-offensive offensive. And uh, you got almost uh, 16,800 and uh, one for uh, tweets are there, and it is categorized with offensive and non offensive labels. And uh, next comes to the second data set. Uh, the, we have the words and uh, the category of the uh, the word, like it is, uh, it is, you know, the so and so word is category, so and so content. Like, uh, we have a couple of, uh, we have a number of uh, words like uh, sexual, where is here, and the other six categories. Total, we have six categories. Yeah. So first of all, so by using three algorithms, by using four algorithms, uh, we train the data set and we, uh, we, we uh, test the data set and we calculate the performance scores. I prepared the proposed system, like in the existing system, I'm saying that so on, so Facebook, uh, Facebook and current social network doesn't, uh, doesn't have this uh, cyber bully detection. It is completely pushed by each and every Content each and every text, text content. We are talking about only text content, not any images or multi, multimedia data. And proper system, we build a, a CBD RPC cyber bullet detection by using the machine learning algorithm that designed the, some proper, uh, some architecture diagram. And this architecture diagram has two, uh, two things like, uh, wow, well, like a classification analysis and the user, your uh, user one. And at the this, it's two spores are designed in two color formats. Brown one is admin for classification. The first of all, the first one, uh, first one training data set and the, the, the data set will load and TFI the sectorizer and uh, uh, it is converts to the text data to the numer uh, numerical one and then apply the class to some others <clears throat> and build the model. Then uh, by using load model, we, uh, we uh, select the test data set and we create the we create the performance score and the user side, uh, see anybody submit the post, uh, uh, submit, share some anything. So that text will, uh, we collect the best model and we predict and we, uh, we get the offensive statement or non offensive statement. So two algorithms we are using and two data sets we are using. The first one, prediction of a statement is a bully or not. Second one, if it is a bully statement. In the first document, we identify whether it is a bully or not. So in the second, in the second one, we identify uh, we uh, we identify that a bully statement cat was categories of what is a sexual category or is a racist or is a uh, or something. So <clears throat> so we are using both the data sets and we we, we can see in the user you know, that that output in the user side. So let's, uh, I already started the server and this was developed in the general Python web application and front end is HTML, HTML and HTML things and back end of course, uh, Python and the database server I use my HTML one. So these are the software and hardware configuration. So minimum things and uh, hardware things and these are the 
these are the software configuration python 3.6 is in my desktop and let's start our usually uh, already the server start the server so then yeah this is uh, home page for application then uh, i'm going to log in as i have been admin of the default user id and password yeah that is admin admin and admin has a three things training testing your services and in the training page i uh, i suppose to upload the data set and i select the algorithm then i the the, the, the model file will create the data set will train and model file create and uh, completely we have eight buttons so, so one the two data sets we be using the four algorithms so two into four total eight buttons we have so we supposed to select the data set first Yeah, I selected data set one and I'm selecting the name of this algorithm. I can't go with the SVM neural network or random for us because of it will, it will take time actually. So near name this algorithm and now like completed very far, very far. So data set two I'm uploading and again I'm selecting name based only. So to uh, yeah, uh, we get the notification and also we can see the model file. So to secure or uh, to I mean to store uh, to store the training data. Uh, training object we use the dot model file so by using the pkl api see there are eight model files are there and just now we created two model files and it's a group by date so see you can see data set two model file just now we created and the data set one or data set one name is already just now we created so total eight model files which i already created so this is the output we have to work we are supposed to show uh we supposed to show at the training field and remaining also we can create newly freshly but problem is time it will take the time so in the testing so i'll in the testing page upload the new data set i upload the yeah, uh d1 testing yeah testing with all algorithm so so here uh the test will happen to all algorithms and it will calculate the four performance types of course and then uh, we, uh, we can we can uh, show the graph and that that details also permanently stored in your database so we got yeah the data testing data set is completed and we got the graph so we can see new base algorithm or spm neural networks and random products and actual situation recall and f1 so see in the for the data set one we got neural network and we best to all or com compared to the all the all the performance score compared to the all algorithms so neural networks got that one and come to the data set too. Yeah. So data set two, we got a result for best result for random forest, not neural network. So in the user side, we have, we apply the both the models, like random for neural network and neural random forest. So users that is the user side. So that is next to the view access. We can see the admin can see the all the all the accuracy score. All the accuracy and uh, means it means performance scores, accuracy pressure record, and uh, and uh, individual uh, individual score also I think can see. Yeah, yeah. individual score also I think can see F one score. Yeah, so that's it. So I'm I'm going as a user. So I already created a couple of users. Uh, so I'll just now uh, for the confirmation, I'm creating a new user. Like, uh, email should be unique. That is a primary key. And profile pic is supposed to upload from this web app folder and. Uh, static and images from these images we can select any any of any of the image so i can select this yeah this image we yeah, have registered uh we just so you can log in and the user and i mean log in as a user so yeah we can see the profile picture and uh, uh friend search and friend request how many friend requests presently we got zero and um sending a friend request to some user yeah uh, the user is confirming confirm details and we said we can send the 
uh, we can send a friend request to that particular user and um, log in as a user to yeah i got a friend request you can see the one new and then yeah which i accept or reject so that i accept it so they are friends right now they are friends right now and i told you know so this is an old old user now then i profile you can see the profile of the current user now now uh, the yeah share um, so for example i'm sharing a post right now so like good morning like i shared Sorry, shared and now the own one own one means uh, the user can see uh, the his own world yeah this is the own world just now we shared and next the wall means the friends uh the what are the friends shared so these are the previous data so i'm just uh posting a, a a bully statement yeah uh, we can use it in uh, use it in uh, share a uh, post with the image or without image so now right now I'm, I'm giving the example of without image yeah i shared so now uh i'm going to log in as a shy the user one Yes, uh, wall. Yeah, now this is what. Uh, yeah, this is what. Uh, Shadi said, "Good morning." It's completely fine. That is, a, it is in a normal statement. It is a blue color, and this is what. It's a dim color, uh, light color, and the this one is uh, uh, like alert with the category category of the bullet section. So the first, the first data set of a neural network algorithm will predict the. Check whether the statement is bully or not, and second algorithm, random forest algorithm, identify the category category of uh, category of the data set. So the this statement is belongs to sexual category, and that statement belongs to sub bully. So one one algorithm, second algorithm. So that is the flow of this project. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I'm logging out. So yeah, thank you.